Hi, I'm Tony, and this is the story of the build of this 31 foot 8 inch J. Benford designed cruising sailboat. From the lofting of the lines to her emerging from the boat shed to receive her keel, masts, and all the other paraphernalia that make up a cruising vessel. Join us on this adventure as we build to patch her and hopefully set off to test her out as a liveaboard cruising vessel. Oh, well, as I said last week, something very exciting this week. It's going to be a bit different. It's not the usual full-on boat building. A bit of boat building later on. Uh, a bit different this week, as I say. But uh, let's have a look and see what's been going on. So, we're making a road trip. And uh, just washed the car. Got a full tank of diesel. Very expensive diesel at this time. At this time. And we're driving up to uh, Greifswald, which we believe is in Mecklenburg for Poland. And uh, we're going up to pick, pick up to patch his sails, which is extremely exciting. There are two brand new sails made by a sail maker up there. And we'll see how it goes. Nice long drive in front of us now. So we arrived there Thursday lunchtime-ish and uh, the appointment with the sailmaker was Friday but I've, I've been there once before to Greifswald and uh, maybe 15 years ago or so I knew it was a very very boaty town that had a tradition of, of wooden sailing boats, working boats maybe and so I wanted to have a look around the town also I knew that you know it was fairly nice so uh, we spent Thursday afternoon having a look around it gave us a chance to find the sailmaker which by pure luck happened to be only a few hundred yards away from our hotel well half a mile maybe but <laughs> fairly close to the hotel I had a look round and what a beautiful town it is and as I say there's a there's a tradition of, of wooden boats there sailing boats working boats they've got an area called the museum boatyard museum wharf uh, where which is actually a working boatyard it seems with lots of repairs going on on wooden boats and uh, very interesting and here's a few shots of Greifswald Mast anybody? You're a mad bird.
Mm, she's lovely. So, Friday morning after breakfast, we went round to the sound maker. Um, we hadn't really arranged a time, only that we'd, we'd turn up sometime on Friday. And when we got there, um, the, the sales weren't actually quite finished, but they were very you know, lovely people. Took us in there, uh, laid the sails out for us to, to see them. I checked a few measurements on them, um, which I was happy with. I had a couple of grommets eyes still to put in, and the battens I'd arranged for them to supply the battens aluminium tubes, 40 millimeter diameter aluminium tubes. The battens weren't ready yet, I think they'd had some issues with the supply of the aluminium, but it was there, just needed finishing off. So we arranged to, uh, to go back later that day to collect them. Sales look great. In my excitement, I guess I forgot to take any video or perhaps there just wasn't an opportunity. But luckily, Karen was on the ball and took a few photos. And then we had the rest of that Friday to, to do something with. And, and Karen had heard that Stralsund, the town of Stralsund, is this very lovely. So we decided to take a short drive up there. It's about half an hour and had a look around there and again it's a very nautical town, very old town, uh, beautiful, very beautiful. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste of Stralsund and then we go back to the sailmaker to collect our sails. I do like a bit of brickwork around here. How many bricks are in that thing? Look at it, it's enormous. So. 
So, I had a nice day out there, and then in the afternoon, the soundmaker called us, uh, so they're all ready. And back we went, and there the sails were all thoroughly bundled up and you know, ready for transport, which meant, of course, that we couldn't actually see the finished job, but you know, they've done a great job of bundling them up for, for, for packing. And then they loaded them onto the onto the roof rack for us, it's a brilliant service, and they did it all. Um, and we had a fairly slow drive back with those two big cell bundles on the top of the car, back the 300 kilometers back home here. Got back Friday evening. Obviously very keen to have a look, but uh, did manage to wait till the next day, open them up and see what we've got. Doesn't that look beautiful? So there they are, or well, there's that's the foresail, so it's the smaller of the two. Very beautiful. Aluminium battens, all rigged, ready to go. Yeah, so these are for the parrels, okay. Nice. Looking great. And the panels between the batten, the battens are solid and straight, and the panels between the battens are cut with a with an air four shape. So the cloth has the air four shape to it, so it's cambered sail. As it fills, it should have a lovely air for. And really pleased, it looks beautiful. I say that's the four so it's the smaller of the two. Very nice. Gonna pack it away again now. Yeah, so I think they've done a really good job. You've got these, it's in the shades, so I don't know if you can see it. You've got these eyes here, 
that the parrels fit to. The parrels are the ropes that go around the mast and under that bubble wrap in the middle is the other end of that. So that's all nice and easy to attach. Looking great. The upper batten's a bit longer which I think is for the sheeting system to make that angled batten work well. This is the main side that we're looking at here and it's very very bright so I hope it's working in the camera. But apart from being bigger than the foresaw it's the same. We've got a bolt rope in the top. We've got loops on the ends of all of these battens for the sheets to affix to. All fitted. A bolt rope on the top here with a couple of eyes for out holes. So I just put a track on the yard. The yard obviously has to be a bit longer so the out holes work. And that looks pretty wonderful already, I think. I'm really, really pleased. And a couple of big things arrived while we were away as well, so, which gave us a chance to get on a bit more. Uh, the filler that I've been waiting for, for, for the keel, this stuff is called Aeronautic, I think it's probably for the aero and nautical industries. It's a light epoxy filler, waterproof epoxy filler, which I really like. I've showed you it once before, but that's what I was waiting for to fill the keel. I was able to finish that. And the other big arrival was the wood for the mast, which Hazel and I stacked out of the way for now. I want to get the keel painted before I start on the masts. At least I think so. Should be starting soon though. Hope to get that kill finished painted, uh, epoxy sealed painted that is, uh, in the next couple of days and then get set up in there for mast making. So things are moving on very well. Yeah, they grew quick. And look what's arrived while I've been away. Just the wood for the masts. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. A bit different this week, as I said, but uh, we'll be back to boat building. Things are progressing nicely now and uh, thinking about moving her up to a yard soonish, I guess, in the next couple of months, I dare say. So, all that YouTube stuff, hit that subscribe button, please, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.